town of Dunbar is named for the castle, which has a Brit British name coming originally from Dunbar, basically meaning the castle on the headland. It's been fortified um, since at least the 7th century and probably long before as well. And as the fortification has gone through a, a huge number of changes, um, even at one point being garrisoned for a number of years by the French and being altered to new designs given to it by Italian architects. Perhaps the uh, most famous uh, time is when Black Agnes, Black Agnes was named for her dark hair and eyes and her sallow complexion. She'd probably been a mistress of King David II, uh, but she became the wife of the Earl of Dunbar. And when the Earl of Dunbar was away, she found the castle under attack by the English. And she spent the best part of five months um, in 1338 defending very successfully uh, the castle from the English. They never did manage to take it. A uh, number of tricks she's supposed to have employed, such as they tried to uh, destroy the castle by th um, catapulting stones and so on at it. So she got one of her maids to come out and to dust it with a handkerchief. And on another occasion, she was being bread was being brought into the castle because they also had food accessible from the sea side of the castle. And she apparently catapulted some bread into the English camp to show them that, she, that despite the fact they were holding them under siege, she had plenty of food to spare. The harbour is divided into sections. There's the original what they call the Cromwell Harbour. That entrance was blocked up because a new entrance was blasted uh, in between the castle to form the Victoria Harbour. Uh, the old uh, Ordnance Survey tide gauge sits as a small castle-like structure at the entrance. 